What's up guys, Nick Bringle here, and today we're talking about cold brew coffee. As most of you know, I absolutely love coffee. I feature it throughout this channel on all kinds of videos, whether I'm making a pour over or visiting coffee shops or uh, drinking coffee or drinking more coffee. There's just a lot of coffee. I'm addicted to it. I love it. I'm a coffee snob for sure. Um, and so I just had to make a video about making cold brew coffee at home. I know there's a bunch of different ways that you can accomplish this at home with DIY methods or different uh, products that you can purchase. For me, I was introduced making cold brew at home with the product that Hario makes called the Mizudashi. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's been out for a long time. You may already know of it, and you may have your own methods of making cold brew. And uh, yeah, this is just how I've found that it's great and it tastes delicious. And uh, I'm gonna walk you through how I make cold brew using the Mizudashi. So before we get started, you will need a few extra items in order to kind of produce this cold brew. You're gonna need coffee, a really good coffee bean, single origin, whatever you prefer. I think uh, this may take a few different uh, rounds for you to kind of figure out the right type of coffee for you that makes that perfect, rich, creamy taste of cold brew because it is a very different thing than making a hot pour over or French press at home, for sure. You're gonna need a grinder so we can grind up those coffee beans. And then you'll also need a scale so we can get the proper grams that are gonna go into the cold brew. And for this one in particular, we're going 80 grams. You also need filtered water or purified water, bottled water, whatever you have access to that's not your typical tap water. And uh, it can be cold, it can be room temperature. That, that's not as important with this, at least I don't think it is. And I'm using a gooseneck kettle only because you kind of want to use the same pour over method, even though it's uh, used with cold water and cold ground beans, you still want to use that gooseneck pour over smooth method when uh, making this cold brew. So first we'll weigh out the coffee beans. We're looking for 80 grams and we're gonna grind that up and we're gonna put that into the filter. And also the filter that comes with this is great. It's got a nice little screw off top bottom thing and very easy to clean. So once you've ground up your beans, go ahead and pour it in and uh, make sure it's kind of leveled out and then begin the pour. And like I said just a second ago, you'd wanna have that pour over method with you know a gooseneck kettle. If you don't, it's not a big deal. What I'm gonna talk about now is something that I did not include in this video and that is the stir. You wanna stir a lot. So, you know, pour in some water, stir it in, make sure that all that cold water, room temperature water is saturating all of the ground up coffee. And uh, it's very important. So just as you're pouring some in, stir it up, be very liberal with that. It doesn't really matter. Just stir it up, stir it up, fill that thing up. And that is pretty much it. Then you put it in the refrigerator and you wait eight to 12 hours. I went over that, you know, 12, 14 hours pull it out, it is gonna be just delicious. A superb cup of cold brew, bro. Oh man, that is good. 
So if you're interested in uh, the Mizudashi by Hario and all the other uh, products that I use at home to make coffee, there'll be links down below. You can purchase that stuff. I think it's all on Amazon, super easy. If you'd like this video, uh, maybe you'll consider subscribing because you might just like the next video or maybe some of the previous ones. You haven't even watched them yet. Um, there's all kinds of content. Uh, weekly, I'm going live and we're just talking about filmmaking and coffee and photography and who am I and all those kinds of bizarre things that you probably don't even really care about and I'm just talking to a camera. But uh, yeah, I really enjoy uh, the comments and, and just all the people that keep subscribing and engaging in this community here of me and you, the people. So just keep doing that and uh, I love it. And uh, yeah, go make some cold brew or some coffee, or some pour over, or go to your local shop and drink some coffee. Just do it. too much coffee.